Hello, this is our new video and today we're going to speak about JavaScript growth and standardization. During the period of Internet Explorer dominance in the early 2000s, high high scripting was uh, stagnant. This started to change in 2004 when the successor of Netscape Mozilla released the Firefox browser. Firefox was uh, well received by many taking significant market share from Internet Explorer. In 2005, Mozilla joined ECMA International and work started on the ECMAScript for XML standard. This led to Mozilla working jointly with Macromedia, later acquired by Adobe Systems, who were implementing E4X in the ActionScript 3 language, which was based on an ECMAScript for draft. The goal became standardizing ActionScript 3 as the new ECMAScript 4. To this end, Adobe System released the Tamarin implementation as an open source project. However, Tamarin and ActionScript 3 uh, were too different from established client-side scripting and without cooperation from Microsoft. ECMAScript 4 never reached fruition. Meanwhile, very important developments were occurring in open source communities not affiliated with ECMA work. In 2005, Jesse Games Garrett released a white paper in which he continued the term IS and described a set of technologies, of which JavaScript was the backbone, to create web applications where data can be loaded in the background, avoiding the need for full page reloads. This sparked a renaissance period of JavaScript, spearheaded by open source libraries and the communities that formed around them. Many new libraries were created, including jQuery, Prototype, Dojo, Toolkit, and Tools. Google uh, debuted its home browser in 2008 with uh, uh, v8 JavaScript engine that was faster than its competition. The key innovation was uh, just time uh, compilation, so other browser vendors needed to overhaul their engines for JIT. In July 2008, there, uh, these uh, disparate parties came together uh, for a conference in Oslo. This led to eventual agreements in nearly 2009 to combine all relevant work and drive the language forward. The result was ECMAScript 5 standard released in December 2009. Uh, reaching maturity Ambitious work on the language continued for several years, culminating in an extensive collection of additions and refinements uh, being formalized with the publication of ECMAScript 6 in 2015, the creation of Node.js in 2009 by Nachal Sparkett, a significant increase in the usage of JavaScript outside of web browsers. Uh, Node uh, combines the V8 engine and event loop and i slash o IPs, thereby providing a standalone JavaScript runtime system. As of 2018, Node has been used by millions of developers, and NPM has the most modules of any package manager in the world. Uh, the ECMAScript draft specification is currently maintained open on GitHub and editors are produced via regular annual snapshots. Potential revisions on the language are vetted through a comprehensive proposal process. Now, instead of edition number, developers check the status of upcoming features individually. The current JavaScript ecosystem has many libraries and frameworks, established programming practices, and a substantial usage of JavaScript outside of web browsers. Plus, with the rise of single-page applications, 
and other JavaScript heavy websites. Several transpilers have been created to aid the development process. Uh, trademark JavaScript is a trademark of Oracle Corporation in the United States. Uh, exam uh, uh, website client site usage JavaScript is the domain client scripting language of the web, with 98% of all websites using it for this purpose. Scripts are embedded in or included from HTML uh, documents and interact with uh, DOM. All major web browsers have a built-in JavaScript engine that executes the code on the user's device. Uh, examples of scripted behavior. Loading new web page content without reloading the page via Ajax or a WebSocket, for example. Uh, users of social media can send and receive messages without leaving the current page. Web page animations such as fading objects in and out, resizing and moving them. Playing browser games, controlling the playback of streaming media, generating pop-up ads, validating input values of a web form before the data is sent to a web server, uh, logging data about the user's behavior and sending it to a server. The website owner can use this data for analytics, ad tracking, and personalization redirecting a user to another page. Uh, libraries and frameworks. Over 90% of websites uh, use a third party. JavaScript library or web framework for their client-side scripting. jQuery is by far the most popular library used by over 75% of the websites. Facebook created the React library for its website and later released it as open source. Other sites, including Twitter, now use it. Likewise, the Angular framework created by Google for its websites, including YouTube and Gmail, is now an open source project used by others. In course trust, the term vanilla jazz uh, has been coined for websites not using any libraries or frameworks, instead relying entirely on standard JavaScript functionality. Uh, other usage. The use of JavaScript has expanded beyond its web browser roots. JavaScript engines are now embedded in a variety of other software systems, both for server-side, website deployments, and non-browser applications. Initial attempts at uh, promoting server-side JavaScript usage were Netscape Enterprise Server and Microsoft's Internet Formation service, but there uh, were small niches. Server-side usage eventually started to grow in the late 2000s with the creation of Node.js and other approaches. Electron, Cordova, React Native and other application frameworks have been used to create many applications with behavior implemented in JavaScript. Other uh, non-browser applications include Adobe Acrobat, uh, support for scripting PDF documents, and uh, GNOME shell extensions written in JavaScript. Written. JavaScript has uh, recently begun to appear in some embedded systems, usually by leveraging Node.js. So that's all. Uh, put your like, subscribe on the channel. Bye-bye.